Alright guys, so um, I actually looked up about the Night Remember quest because I really wanted to do it to get someone um, to do with, um, it's like a divine quest but they're related. Um, and you have to, I thought it was like any inn, but it's actually once you turn level 14, the first inn that you go to, into is that one, which I didn't actually realise. Um, so, I'm debating about whether to like quickly fast travel to all the inns because I really want them and I want this uh, follower and where's Ayla? Oh there's Ayla. Um, yeah, like she's great and I love her. So, I might just quickly do that before I actually go into here. So the first one I'm going to try is White Run. So let's try this in out here. So it's the Bannered Mare. I'm just gonna see if he's in there. Oh, thank God he is. Awesome. Come on That's in. Just stoke the fire. Take it. You couldn't possibly be the crack. Sadia, wake up, dear. Need anything else? Just let me Hi. know. Hi. You look like someone who can hold their liquor. How about a friendly contest to win a staff? A drinking contest. You don't stand a chance. Ha! <laughs> we'll see about that. This is a special brew. Very strong stuff. Let's get started. You want a drink? I'll start round one. Down the hatch. Your turn. Here we go. One down. My and how about you? Second drink, easy enough. So says you. I think I've hit my limit on these things. Tell you what, one more and you win the contest. One more, no problem. <laughs> wow, you've really done it. The staff is yours. Sash grape. <laughs> you know, you're a fun person to drink with. I know this great little place where the wine flows like water. We should head there. Hey, you don't look so good. Wake up. That's right. It's time to wake up, you drunken blasphemer. Um, uh, blasphemer? I see. So, you don't remember fondling the statuary then? I'm guessing you also don't remember coming in here and blathering incoherently about marriage or a date. Which means you don't remember losing your temper and throwing trash all over the place. Um, tell me how I got here and I'll pay for the damages. Well, we can always use contribution. You were ranting when you got here, but most of it was slurred. You did say something about lyrics, though. Maybe you should take a look there. I'm sorry, the Temple of Dibella is closed. You can receive your blessing if you wish. So this is actually where I wanted to go. Um, into the temple. Oh, finally. <laughs> Hi. What are you doing in here? Stay where you are. The mother will deal with you. Very well. Who is the mother? Here she is. And just what do you think you're doing? I was curious about the temple. Unfortunately for you, we don't allow the uninitiated into the inner sanctum. You have committed a breach and must pay the penalty. What is the penalty? Normally, a period of servitude. Luckily for you, there are more pressing matters. We could make an example of you, but perhaps you could be put to better use. What use is that? The ceremony you so rudely interrupted was the exalted protocol of the Debellan Sybil. I don't expect you to know what that means. Suffice to say that our Sybil was recently lost to us. Through the protocol, we have seen the home of the next Sybil, to the north in a small village pressed against a stone. If you can travel there and retrieve our young Sybil, 
Your transgression will be forgiven. I will entertain his parents. Where is the village? We believe the place in our vision to be Carthwaston. Now move quickly. The girl must be brought to the temple as soon as possible. What is a Sybil? The Sybil of Dibella spends her entire life in direct communion with the goddess. From the time she's a little girl to the moment she expires, she is a direct connection with the Heavenly Mother. From her reverie, we know the mind of our god. We have had a vision of the next Sybil, living in a village to the north. She must be brought to the temple for her reverie to begin. Um, uh, why is this all such a secret? We prefer not to announce that the Sybil has died until we can introduce the new one. People like to know that we're connected to the goddess. The goddess is taken from her family. It's considered a great honor for the family. Their daughter will never know hardship, and the goddess blesses them with great bounty. What else is in it? What else is in it for me? You, my dear, can earn the blessing of Dibella. You'll find men to be more pliable in the future, or more vulnerable. Sounds good. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay, Heart of Dibella. This is the one that I wanted to do. Um, I get a quest follower from it, so. And it's our last quest follower, unless like, we get Serana from Dawnguard. And that's it. Hmm. Dibella's blessing. 